Um, for today, um, I will be uh, talking about the energetic components and elements of the breathing practice called Nadi Shodana, or the alternate muscle breathing. Um, we've been doing this in the classes already, so I'm very happy that uh, most of you are now starting to realize the benefits as well as the healing properties of this amazing breathing technique. Um, yeah, uh, the first thing we need to really acknowledge is the behavior of the breath. And when I say about the breath, it's not just the air, the gaseous air that goes in and out of the body. Uh, it's really more than the process of inhalation and exhalation. The action of the breath um, is an experience, is the feel. Um, so the in-breath or the inhalation or the, the inspiring right, is rising. So when you breathe in, it's not only compartmentalized to your tummy, it's not only compartmentalized to your chest, but you're breathing through the whole region of your spine, so from bottom to top. So I discussed this in the classes, like the breath goes from bottom to top, so it's rising. So when you inhale, it's lifting, rather than just pushing forward or just bloating the belly. Yeah? And the exhalation is a process of expelling the breath out, so it's hollowing like the body folds within its own inner body. Yeah? So uh, we're going to apply those principles in the practice of Nadi Shodana. And uh, aside from that, we'll also try and um, realize uh, the, um, the relationship of our uh, Pingala, which is our right active side, and then the Ida, which is our more softer, calmer side. And through Nadi Shodana, we'll be able to balance both energies. Um, um, and uh, over time, um, over a period of time, through progressive practice and with uh, the elements of the bandhas and the asanas, especially backbends and hip openers, Nandi Shodana um, uh, could be experienced in a deeper perspective or a deeper state where it paves the way for the opening of the middle channel or the social channel. Right, so, right, let's start. Alright, so um, whichever you're comfortable doing, either your index finger and the ring or the middle finger right at the forehead or you can fold them uh, under the thumb and you're going to alternately block the left and the right nostril with the thumb and the ring finger. I will not be talking about the basic procedure, we'll be talking about its energetic components for this one, right? So first gesture, whichever you're, uh, whichever you're comfortable with the ring or the middle finger and the thumb right at the forehead, I'm comfortable this way so I will be doing this yeah, technique, yeah? So just press firmly down the right and the left nostril, so just confident of the gesture, right? So let's begin first, some basic ones, so you can just uh, feel its manifestation, so an easy one, yeah? All right, so inhale first both nostrils, and exhale both nostrils, all right? So just blocking your right or your right nostril with the thumb, inhale through the left, All right, blocking the left, exhale through the right. Inhale right. Block, exhale left. All right, carry on. So the inhalation, I want you to make it a little thinner and a bit longer. And the exhalation, just relax and calm and let all the breath out. So this thinning of the inhalation paves the way as well for the thinning, thinning of the walls of the nostrils. And then there, you can feel the first energetic manifestation of the breath. You can actually feel the breath rising. So like the walls of the belly go thin and longer as you inhale. And then when you exhale, the body goes softer without losing the limb. Like the ribs fold inside. Continue. You can actually further your investigation by placing your hand, the opposite hand, down the tummy, down the center. And then when you inhale, you're going to feel the walls of the belly go thin and long. Like that. And then when you exhale, the belly will go even hollow and the ribs will fold inside the body. Let's take one more. So 
it's rising and it's solid. So that's your body is working then. Inhale. Block. Exhale. Alright, so this is the first energetic manifestation that the breath it goes in and out. It's rising. And as the breath goes from bottom or top to bottom, it's hollowing. Yeah. So uh, our next drill will be about um, um, sending the breath through each side of our, our energetic centers. We have the left, we have the right and the left side, uh, the Ingalara and, and the Ida. Yeah? So we're going to do the same gesture, not the shoulder now, but this time your opposite hand just, just place the hand down the opposite rib. Yeah? And your hand, uh, the opposite hand or the first arm does the Nadi Shodhana. Right? Alright, so blocking your right with your thumb. Now inhale through the left. And then as you inhale through the left, I want you to feel your right side, the right wrist. And the right arm. Alright, stop. You feel this one goes. Yeah, like the the ribs open and not only open yeah the action is rising so you might feel the current yeah from here we're gonna move up and at the top of the inhalation you're gonna feel it right here and at some people um, you might start to feel it down the neck and right at the back of your head yeah some you might also feel a light of, um, touch down the eardrum yeah because the energy is going up yeah so that's that's how it that how it that, that's how it behaves rising up. All right, let's try it. Again. Okay. Same, blocking your right. Now inhale through the left. Feel this one. Exhale. Same. And this lung will soften. Now when you inhale to the right, the right side will not inflate as much anymore because the energy goes to the left. So let's try that. Let's feel that. Feel that? It goes here, the opposite. So it goes like across. And then when you exhale this side, this side will soften. Now let's try this side. And it goes to the right side. Block, exhale. Right. So not only is the breath rising and folding, the breath is actually going opposites. So um, that alone is a good exercise for you to balance your pingala, which is your right side, and your hida, which is your left side. And then through Nandi Shodhana, this energetic signs become more balanced. And then actually you can feel which side of you um, is more blocked. You know, for me, it's my right side. For most people, the right side has some blockages. And then through Nadi Shodhana, you'll be able to cleanse them somehow through, uh, and in conjunction with your back pins, in conjunction with your hip openers, and in conjunction with your uh, breath sapphire, you'll, you'll be able to cleanse the blockage and unclog the blockage of your energetic centers. Yeah? So yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful practice. I really suggest you do it every day. Maybe start for like 80 repetitions and then progress until you become a little bit more efficient. Um, and maybe build up to like 320 uh, repetitions a day, um, divided into several segments. And then, yeah, trust the practice. Uh, Nandi Shodhana is a really good way for you to, to create more energetic awareness, um, to, to develop uh, more of that healing property uh, using the breath, um, it's not just about doing the poses. The poses are just um, like um, the gateway for the body to open, so the breath can flow there. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy the practice so far. I'll see you next.